does the Book of Mormon promote racism or make racist statements? The Bible teaches that God created all men of one blood, that he is no respecter of persons, that anyone who believes in him will be given everlasting life. Genesis chapter 3 verse 20 And Adam called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. Colossians chapter 3 verses 9 through 11 Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. John chapter 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Acts chapter 17 verse 26 And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. Acts 10 verses 34 and 35 then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. The Book of Mormon makes statements which would indicate that the quote-unquote God of this book is a respecter of persons, and that differences of skin color are visible marks quote-unquote God has placed on men to separate those who are quote-unquote good from those who are quote-unquote bad. Book of Mormon, 1 Nephi, chapter 11, verse 13. And it came to pass that I looked and beheld the great city of Jerusalem, and also other cities, and I beheld the city of Nazareth. And in the city of Nazareth I beheld a virgin, and she was exceedingly fair and white. 1 Nephi chapter 12 verse 23 And it came to pass that I beheld, after they had dwindled in unbelief, they became a dark and loathsome and a filthy people, full of idleness and all manner of abominations. 1 Nephi chapter 13 verse 15 And I beheld the Spirit of the Lord that it was upon the Gentiles, and they did prosper and obtain the land for their inheritance. And I beheld that they were white, and exceedingly fair and beautiful, like unto my people before they were slain. Second Nephi chapter 5 verses 21 through 24, And he had caused the cursing to come upon them, yea, even a sore cursing because of their iniquity. For behold, they had hardened their hearts against him, that they had become like unto a flint. Wherefore, as they were white, and exceedingly fair and delightsome, that they might not be enticing unto my people, the Lord God did cause a skin of blackness to come upon them. And thus saith the Lord God, I will cause that they shall be loathsome unto thy people, save they shall repent of their iniquities, and cursed shall be the seed of him that mixeth with their seed. For they shall be cursed even with the same cursing. And the Lord spake it, and it was done. And because of their cursing which was upon them, they did become an idle people, full of mischief and subtlety, and did seek in the wilderness for beasts of prey. Jacob chapter 3 verse 5 Behold, the Lamanites your brethren, whom ye hate, because of their filthiness and the cursing which hath come upon their skins, are more righteous than you. For they have not forgotten the commandment of the Lord which was given unto our father that they should have, save it were, one wife, and concubines they should have none, and there should not be whoredoms committed among them. Jacob chapter 3 verses 8 and 9 O my brethren, I fear that unless ye shall repent of your sins, that their skins will be whiter than yours, when ye shall be brought with them before the throne of God. Wherefore a commandment I give unto you, which is the word of God, that ye revile no more against them because of the darkness of their skins, neither shall ye revile against them because of their filthiness. But ye shall remember your own filthiness, and remember that their filthiness came because of their fathers.
The Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. If sin turns people's skins black, the Bible indicates that we would all be black, because all have sinned. God made us the color we are because he wanted us to be the color we are. He made no mistakes, he made us all just the way he wanted us. Continuing on in the Book of Mormon, Mormon chapter 5, verse 15, And also that the seed of this people may more fully believe his gospel, which shall go forth unto them from the Gentiles. For this people shall be scattered, and shall become a dark, a filthy, and a loathsome people, beyond the description of that which ever hath been amongst us, yea, even that which hath been among the Lamanites and this because of their unbelief and idolatry. 3 Nephi chapter 2 verses 14 through 16 And it came to pass that those Lamanites who had united with the Nephites were numbered among the Nephites, and their curse was taken from them, and their skin became white like unto the Nephites, and their young men and their daughters became exceedingly fair, and they were numbered among the Nephites and were called Nephites, and thus ended the thirteenth year. Alma chapter 3, verses 6 through 10. And the skins of the Lamanites were dark according to the mark which was set upon their fathers, which was a curse upon them because of their transgression, and their rebellion against their brethren, who consisted of Nephi, Jacob, and Joseph, and Sam, who were just and holy men. And their brethren sought to destroy them, Therefore they were cursed, and the Lord God set a mark upon them, yea, upon Laman and Lemuel, and also the sons of Ishmael, and Ishmaelitish women. And this was done, that their seed might be distinguished from the seed of their brethren, that thereby the Lord God might preserve his people, that they might not mix and believe in incorrect traditions which would prove their destruction. And it came to pass that whosoever did mingle his seed with that of the Lamanites did bring the same curse upon his seed. Therefore whosoever suffered himself to be led away by the Lamanites was called under that head, and there was a mark set upon him. Alma chapter 3 verses 14 through 16 Thus the word of God is fulfilled, for these are the words which he said to Nephi, Behold, the Lamanites have I cursed, and I will set a mark on them, that they and their seed may be separated from thee and thy seed, from this time henceforth and forever, except they repent of their wickedness and turn to me, that I may have mercy upon them. And again I will set a mark upon him that mingleth his seed with thy brethren, that they may be cursed also. And again I will set a mark upon him that fighteth against thee and thy seed. 